Hey what's going on guys, Mooney here and today I've got my team update for, I think this is the third time I've done a team update but this is a totally new squad to my Serie A squad. I've sold my German team and this is the squad I've got and you can see it was 85 overall rated, got 200 games on my belt and you guys do ask me a lot, why do I have um, so little games and like, well, such a high rated team, it's it, because most of my games get disconnected and I'll win or lose them and I'll get still get coins for them and that, but that's why. Anyway, guys, starting off with the goalkeeper Julio Cesar, not instead. And my substitute keeper is Buffon. Then left back, I, sh I played a guy who had a very similar team to me, and he had uh, Thiago Silva at left back, so I more or less copied him because left back position is pretty difficult to fill in. You could put Vargas in there because he has quite good stats all round, and Shivu is just another good defender as well. Then. My two favourite centre backs are Lucio and Samuel, and right back Mike. On Mike, on it was a bit costly, but he is a really good player. Now I play four and two and two, as you can see. And centre defensive mid, I have Cambiasso. Left mid, I have Vargas. Right mid, I have Inform Maggio. I've only recently got Maggio because I don't know the wingers were a bit of a problem for me, but I really found him to be good. And Inform Vargas, he's got good stats all round, but. Don't be uh, fooled by the 85 pace, he's qu actually quite slow. The 86 Hamshik, no he's not the team of the year one which is the 87. I got him because his price went down and he's just an all round fantastic player. Now this guy, Lavetti, he's my star man, he really is. He's such a good player, he's, he's strong for such a little guy, he's fast, he's got a belt of a shot on him. So anyone who's got the money, get him. And the guy I like to partner, Tor. We have a tall striker and a small striker, and the tall one obviously being Zlatan Ibrahimovic, and not much to say about him. Now the substitutions, I'll, I do have a good rotation system, so um, see my team is a that mo I'll, I'll substitute most of them for everyone on the bench because I don't like people going below 95 fitness. To be honest, I know I know it's a bit picky, but I just like to be fitness to be high. Then I've got Schneider. Mm, he's not as good as I thought he'd be. He, he is a good player, can't deny that. But he's not as good attacking as I thought he'd be. Alexander Pato, another one of my favourite players. He's fantastic in the rotation system. I've got him in right mid instead of the right forward. And he is really just a fantastic player. De Rossi, just a, another great sense of defensive mid. Eto, another great striker. It's really hard to differ from the strikers because, to be honest, I play well with all of them. And, ooh, and I've got left mid, who is Rubinho, and I got him because, again, I said I had trouble with the wingers. He's a fantastic player. And I know I'm just giving like one word answers for all them, but I'm going to talk about them more in the gameplay section. Cordoba, he's only 79, but he's such a fast defender. He's, sh he's so strong. Got he, Not the best stats, but he is a good defender, and I recommend him for cheap boof on a voyage. Shelge is my substitute keeper. Krasic, 90 pace, but don't be fooled by that. He has a good burst of speed, and then he does slow down. Uh, Zanetti, my substitute right back. He's just fantastic, and he's the right back he should be getting. If um, well, the right back he should get if you can't afford Mike on or Cellini or Cellini. Now, if you pronounce he's another solid defender. Melito, he's a solid striking. If you put stats on him, he seems to improve so much. Many players don't improve. Say you put a training card on him, say shooting plus ten. But Melito, for some reason, for me, really does a fantastic job when you add stuff to him. And finally, my substitute is Shivu, and he's he's another fantastic player. Is for eighty as well. I've got him. In, I've got. I paid a little bit more because I've got him in four and two on two formation, and that's my team, guys. And you may notice that some of them are bright green formation, some of them are dark green because the four and two on two formation cards are absolutely too overpriced. So I got the four 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 one one, and. Well, it gets me chemistry up really high. Not 100 all the time, but most of the time it is. Anyway, guys, I'll see. I'll we'll move on to the gameplay, gameplay portion now. So I'll see you there. Okay, guys, now I've got a little bit more time to go a bit more in depth about my team, and well, I'm gonna start in goal, Cesar or Buffon. To be honest, both of them can be a bit clumsy at times, and so can the centre defensive mid, as you'll see for this guy's second goal. He's Cambiasso was 50p or something, he was very, very clumsy, but both of them can be clumsy, but both of them can be excellent and win your games. I've had both of them as absolute blinders. I favour Cesar more just generally because I think he's the best keeper. And that's it. Now, Thiago Silva for left back. Thiago Silva, it's because I did say in the when I was showing my team, there was a problem at left back, but because Thiago Silva got such good pace, he's 
he's perfect for left back because he can bomb forward as well. He's got a decent shot. All of, all seventy above is his stats. Lucio, solid defender. I'm not going to talk too much about the centre backs. The right, well, I'm not going to talk any anything about the centre back. Right back, Maicon. He loves to bomb forward. He's such a pacey player. 87 pace, shot 79, passing 84, dribbling 84, defending 85, and heading 76. The one, of the best all-round players going in my opinion. Uh, Cambiasso and De Rossi. Cambiasso can be a bit more clumsy, but he can play an absolute blind. And when he does play well for you or you play well with him, he can be fantastic. And De Rossi, I think, I find him solid all the time. Now, the wingers, the wingers is a problem, but I like Pato and Maggio, my two favourite ones, so I'll play Pato on the left sometimes. Pato and Maggio, really fast players. Vargas and Krasic have good pace, but they're not fast in sprint speed. Between Hamshik and Snyder, Hamshik is my favourite one. And even the 80, I think it's the 82 Hamshik, I'm not, I'm not too sure what his actual rank is on normal card, but he's fantastic, he was a great servant to my club and he did so well he's got such a good shot on him and the informed version has an 86 shot on him and i haven't really tried any long shots with him to be honest because i haven't had him for that long now strikers levetti oh he's light and fast it's brilliant and if you play levetti and ibrahimovic you've got the tall and the small one up front they are just brilliant together and finally if you would no not finally but if you would like any one of the players in my team to be seen first in the player tips video please please comment below because i'd like to see who you'd want to see and obviously the majority of co of comments for that certain player will that certain player will get picked and i'll start recording for him and then obviously the as as the comments go down i am um, the least favorite will be probably the last and then i'll just fill in each week ask i'll put a tally up in the comments and you can vote whatever you want you want but the moment i'm giving you the freedom of choice anyone absolutely anyone you'd like me to see play tips if you don't know what it is it's me go more in depth about the player and if and just give you general tips especially with the prices uh, to get the inform or not to get the inform because sometimes the informs cannot be as good as the original player and if you guys if any of you guys can make good intros out there because i'm awful at editing and uh, see that goal can be so just I don't know what happened. If anyone you can make intros out there for a play tip series, can you contact me by personal message or you can make a border for a round video? That'd be brilliant. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, comment what play you'd like to see, and I'll see you guys later.